Jo, hallo zurück zu Sherlock Holmes, Scotland Yard, wollte ich gerade sagen, zu Sherlock Holmes. Crimes and Punishment. Wir sind hier im Yard, ne? das ist nämlich der Punkt. Und wir wollen hier mit äh, John Nelligan reden. Mal gucken, was er sagt. So, und Dawson Nelligan. I have heard the story of Dawson and Nelligan, the West Country Bankers. Yes, Joshua Nelligan was my father. I am aware that it had a bad ending. When the bank failed, it ruined half the families of Cornwall, whereupon Joshua Nelligan disappeared. My father was under extraordinary pressure. Dawson had retired. I was only ten years of age at the time, but it was still old enough to feel the shame that befell our family. My father was convinced that he could pay off all his debts if the creditors gave him time. He set sail for Hammerfest in Norway, in his small yacht, just a few days before an arrest warrant was issued. He left my mother a list of the securities he was taking. No word was ever heard from him again. We believed that his vessel went down, taking with it everyone and everything on board. Thank you for the story, Mr. Nelligan. At last, we are making some progress. Yeah. But Hammerfest, das war doch auch auf der Route, ne? Auf der... Der Wolfangroute. The police seized this valuable ring from you. Whose is it? I didn't steal it from anyone. It has always belonged to me. The ring's date of engraving is many years ago. You would have been a child then, hardly in any position to receive such an item from a partner. So, Mr. Nelligan, who is the true owner of the ring? The ring is mine. Die gehört dem Vater, ne? No, Mr. Nelligan. I believe that the ring had belonged to your father. Oh, but, but, but how do you know? The jacket you are wearing is made of an expensive fabric that only a man of exceptional wealth could afford. You do not seem to me to be a rich man, Mr. Nelligan. Furthermore, the garment is ill-fitting. It is quite clear that it belonged to someone else, most probably your father. With your father gone and taking with him the family's wealth, as a little boy you had to find yourself a manual job, and it was most probably cleaning fish. You cut your hands often while working. I can tell from the scars. I'm speechless, Mr. Holmes. It, yeah. it all happened exactly as you say. Interesting. Joshua Nelligan and Peter Carey were both at sea in Norway. There is definitely some connection between Peter Carey and Joshua Nelligan's disappearance. Tja, okay, müssen wir jetzt echt nochmal die Logbücher angucken, das kann nicht sein. Weil ich meine, eigentlich hatten wir uns das ja schon en detail angeguckt. Okay, also gucken wir mal. Die Logbücher liegen ja noch im Regal da hinten. 1883. That's the one I need. This is the crew list of the Sea Unicorn. James, okay. Wie hießen denn die... Ah, Moment mal, wir hatten doch Log Notes für June. Nothing. Log Notes für July. Nothing special. Log Notes für August. Oh, was These haben wir hier? Have Canadian Pacific Railway, CPR. A torn piece from a bond certificate. I have seen this abbreviation somewhere very recently. There are three ways of discovering what happened in August of 1883 aboard the Sea Unicorn. The first two of these will require speaking with a dead man. 
The last would be to locate vital witnesses, the sailors involved in this whale hunt campaign. Okay, gut. Um, das bedeutet... Wir haben doch eigentlich... Kleinen Moment, wir haben doch eigentlich... Ähm Wiggins könnte helfen. Er müsste irgendwo in der Baker Street sein. Okay, also wir suchen ja die Besatzung, ne? Lass uns mal gucken. Ähm, anders kriegen wir es nicht hin. Das haben wir abgeschlossen. Wir müssen aber eben mal kurz in die Baker Street. Something new, Watson. I have the list of sailors who were aboard the Sea Unicorn. We shall soon learn what happened to Nelligan's father. I have only to find them. Let us hope they are still working at the harbor. I think that if you pretend you're from Scotland Yard... I doubt it, Watson. And really, I would prefer that all of this remains quiet for now. But I have another solution. I'll call in the specialists. And who might they be? The secret police division of Baker Street. Ah, you mean young Wiggins and his gang? Yes. Believe me, you'll receive more useful assistance from these little urchins than from a dozen yard detectives. <laughs> Those children are everywhere. They see and hear everything. And they are cunning. All they lack is organization. I'll summon them. How will you do that? There is always a watch beneath our window. I have only to call him. Okay, wie kriegen wir es denn hin? Muss ich hier mit dem ah, Fenster? Ich hatte schon gedacht, ich muss die Nachbarin anrufen. Wiggins, could you come upstairs, please? Wiggins, Wiggins, Wiggins. Mr. Holmes? Wiggins, I need you to track down certain people for me. I'll give you a list. You can read, can't you? Big Oliver from our gang. He can, because his father is the coachman of a famous lawyer. Fascinating. Here is the list of sailors. Sailors? Easy. Just got to look where the rum and the red lights are. <laughs> Sorry to trouble you, Mr. Holmes, but the inspector asks that you come to the station as soon as possible. Uh, thank you. I'll be there shortly. Okay, dann lass uns mal, also Besatzung hätten wir jetzt dann schon. Jetzt lass uns mal kurz hier in die, wo haben wir sie denn? Da, in die Scotland Yard wollen wir wieder hin. Was will er? Steht er hier vorne schon? Ja. Mr. Holmes, I'm glad to see you. As always. What happened? We have a new suspect, Liam Hurtless. I'm thinking that this case will be resolved very quickly now. Interesting. Great help. Well, the constable that I left at Woodman's Lee noticed a suspicious individual prowling around during the night. Do you have him here? Yes. He refuses to speak with us, but we'll make him talk. Let us hope so. Ah oh, yes, and one more thing. The constable told me that at the time of his arrest, the fellow was writing a letter. Hmm. Do you have it? Of course. It's in the evidence room, at your disposal. Admit that for once, Mr. Holmes, Scotland Yard is a step ahead of you, right? Mm, breathtaking. Na, ich weiß nicht. Scotland Yard ist uns voraus. Das kann ich mir jetzt nicht vorstellen. So, jetzt lass mal gucken. Hier von Hurtley die Gegenstände. Das sind seine Schuhe. Mhm. Wie groß sind die denn? Ach, die nehme ich gleich mal mit. Nein in der Half. Okay, die ist schon größer. 
Brief. The stains are fresh. They can be removed with the proper chemicals. Uh -huh. A pen. Nothing unusual about it. Haben wir alles angeguckt? Okay. Lass uns vielleicht mal... Was haben wir jetzt hier? Wir haben hier noch... Da müssen wir Chemikalien anwenden. Hier müssen wir herausfinden, wo das herkommt. Kennen wir den Rail... Ne, Passive Railway. Und dann haben wir noch... Moment, Moment mal. Lass noch mal hier die Evidence angucken. These are the suspects belongings. CRP. I wonder if these are connected. Pacific Now Railway. we have the proof that Nelligan's papers were indeed here. It seems that they have vanished, was. however. Okay. Fehlende Wertpapiere. Boah, hat das was mit der Kiste zu tun? In der gestohlenen Blechkiste befanden sich kostbare Wertpapiere. Könnte ja sein, ne? Nelligans Motiv. Möglicherweise wurde John Nelligan beim Ertapp für die Wertpapiere Stahl. Das wäre ein Motiv für den schwarzen Peter zu töten. Naja, komm. Das weiß ich noch nicht. Na gut. Ähm also erstmal interessiert mich ja mal, ob diese Gartenstiefel irgendwie dort passen. Ne? Jetzt die Spuren da. No. Surprise, surprise. Komm. Hallo? These boots match the footprints exactly. Hm. Also er ist ja dann schon der Gärtner, ne? Kein Gärtner. Das ist schon komisch. Also müsste mit der Judy noch mal sprechen, ne? Baby, wir wollen hier mal mit dir quatschen. Was ist denn los? Okay. Oh, hier kann man ja auch noch lang. Na, das reicht. Okay. Also, die erzählt uns mal gar nichts. Crazy brief here. I need to prepare a chemical agent that is capable of removing fresh ink. For this purpose, the chemicals from the flasks should be combined in a certain order to perform a chain reaction. First condition, all seven reagents should be used. Second condition, orange reagent should be the third one in the sequence after the blue reagent. Third condition, Colorless reagent should be added after the orange reagent. Okay, wir fangen an mit blau oder was? Schwarz. 
Schaut mal rein. So, dann müssen wir natürlich irgendetwas mit einer anderen Farbe reinkippen. Grün zum Beispiel. So, dann kommt etwas farblos. Da wir es nach Orange schreien. Also. Jetzt nochmal blau reinkippen, oder? Jetzt müsste Orange schreien. So, jetzt muss was Durchsichtiges rein. Jetzt muss wieder Orange rein. Und dann muss wieder durchsichtig rein. Done. Now I can proceed further. Okay. Let us see if the content of this letter sheds a little light upon the mystery. Schön sauber putzen. So alles lesen können. Muss eigentlich jetzt mal reichen, oder? So ist echt sauber. I did as you asked and hid them well. Interesting. How would Hurtley react to this? Ich habe sie gut versteckt, wie du sie gebeten, wie du mich gebeten hast, aber ich bitte dich, überleg es dir. Bla, erinnere dich an unseren Schwur. Ich habe nichts Ehrloses getan, für das du bla. Das hat der Typ geschrieben, ne? der so bei Scotland Yard sitzt. So, das haben wir uns alles angeschaut. Den Brief haben wir uns angeschaut. Alles erfragen, ne? was macht er da im Garten? Und, tja, Wertpapiere müsste ich eigentlich den Kollegen fragen, hier den Kleinen. Ne? Das ist ja sein Notizbuch. Egal, also... Ich muss auf jeden Fall mal zurück zu Scotland Yard und die Typen jetzt mal befragen. So, wo ist das? Was steht hier noch als Aufgabe? Ja, lieben Hurley muss ich mir jetzt mal reinziehen. Also, Scotland Yard. Wir fragen erstmal den Kleinen noch. Niemand drin. Ah, John, den wollen wir noch mal reden. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Tell me, Mr. Nelligan, what exactly were you hoping to find inside Peter Carey's cabin? I, I, I was trying to find some information about my father. I assume you had another purpose, to retrieve the bond certificates. Am I correct? Yes. I discovered some time ago that a few of the missing securities had reappeared on the London market. You can imagine my amazement. I spent months trying to find them, and at last I discovered that the original seller had been Captain Peter Carey. These papers, uh -huh. they belong to my family, but I could not find them there. That's all for now. Well... I will see you soon, young man. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. 
Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I would like to ask you a few questions. I've already told the police that I've nothing to say. And you're not even part of the police. Precisely. And considering your situation, it might be wise to speak with someone who is, shall we say, rather more neutral. You are a suspect in a murder case. I know. Inspector Lestrade told me. It's ridiculous. Could you at least tell me who you are, and exactly what happened that you should be brought here? My name is Liam Hurtley. That I can tell you. But you're not getting any more than that. Well, we shall see. Und schauen wir uns den Vogel doch mal an. Hat auch ein bisschen auf. Oh, eine Narbe. Was für eine. Eine alte Narbe. Mhm. Klamotten, alles okay. So. Hm, hat ein schönes Taschentuch. Taschentuch mit Haubenmeise. Okay. Haubenmeise hätte ich jetzt nicht erkannt. Ich dachte, es wäre eine Schwalbe. Haubenmeise. Hat schöne Schuhe und eine Hose an. Pflanzenreste. Ach nee, der Herr. Ist vielleicht doch der Gärtner. Hände des Gärtners. Okay. So. Tell me, Alter, was hast Mr. du da gemacht? Hartley, what were you doing at Woodman's Lee? Hm. Woodman's Lee? I've never been there. Ach komm. The second pair of boots that you had with you when you were arrested perfectly match the footprints found near the cabin where Peter Carey was murdered. Footprints? That's your proof? How many men have boots like mine? That doesn't make me a murderer. Now that your presence at Woodman's Lee has been proven, would you care to explain it? I don't remember. What would I be doing there anyway? Also, ist natürlich der Gärtner. Because you are the gardener at Woodman's Lee. I'm not. How did you... I observed your hands. They told me that you work with the earth. Small fragments of plants snagged to your trousers indicate that you were mowing very recently. But the most obvious clue presented itself in the bird embroidered on your handkerchief. A crested tit, if I'm not mistaken. All right, Correct. all right, you got me. Yes. I am a gardener, and I went there to get my tools. So tell me, Mr. Hurtley, what did you hide? Hide? What are you talking about? The crazy brief, my kleiner Vogel. I did as you asked and hid them well. Should I continue? My letter? But the ink? That's impossible. A touch of chemistry, nothing special. <laughs> You're a smart <laughs> one, but it's nothing. If you want to know, I was referring to my tools. It was to do with my work, see? I will check that, Mr. Hurtley. That's all for now. Hurtley's yeah, story is all false like... leads, but now I know one thing for certain. I must examine the site where the garden tools are kept at Woodman's Lee. Genau. Da müssen wir mal hin. Also ich glaube, ich düste einfach mal direkt hin. Das haben wir jetzt hier gesagt. Genau. Also wir müssen eigentlich mal mit der Else reden hier. Ich weiß nicht, wie sie heißt.
Das ist wohl klar. Ich frage jetzt aber mal Elsbeth hier, weil die muss jetzt langsam mal was wissen. Komm. Does the name Liam Hurtley mean anything to you? No, I don't know anyone by that name. No. Madam, we have information that the valuable stolen papers are hidden amongst the garden tools here at Woodman's Lee. We need to find them. Oh my. Our tools are kept inside the shed that's right behind me. Here is the key to open it. Ah, oh, danke. Thank you, madam. Okay. Wollen wir mal schön in die Hütte reingehen. Let's see what could be hidden here. Super Auge. Ah, Schuppenboden. Holzboden. Loses Brett. Ach, das war einfach. Ein kleines... Das ist die Kiste, die oben fehlt, oder? So. Wie kriegt man die auf? Let us see what is in this box. Ah. Okay. Ein kleines Riddle. Okay, wie geht das? Achso, okay. Das Ding nochmal dahin drehen vielleicht. Okay, okay. Was kann man noch? Moment mal, alle drehen. Okay, da ist jetzt hier so ein Strich, ne? Das hätte ich halt irgendwie cool gefunden. Okay, aber jetzt noch mal gucken. Was kann ich das... Ah, okay, so. Das bringt erstmal nichts, ne? Doch. Okay, gelöst. Haha. <lacht> A bundle of letters in a woman's hand with the Carey family monogram. Hurtley and Mrs. Carey were in a relationship. Okay. That is interesting. Könnte man so sagen. So, ich war immer gut zu mir und so weiter und so fort. Ich habe Angst davor, bla bla, gegen Gottes Gebote zu verstoßen. Ich danke dir, Tisa. Okay. Wille. Und da ist mein Mann das Kreuz, ich tragen muss. Ich mache mir das Leben zwar zur Hölle, aber mit der Zeit heilen alle Wunden. Sorge dich bitte nicht um mich. Okay, das hätte man natürlich wissen müssen. Ne? Hat der vielleicht den, den Typen gechillt? Wollen wir sie mal befragen, oder? Was sie dazu meint? So geht's ja nicht. Kenne ich nicht. Madam. I am aware of your affinity with Liam Hurtley. Oh, what are you talking about? So, Hurtleys Brief, romantische Briefe. Ne? Mrs. Carey, we found your letters. My letters? I asked Liam to return them to me. I wanted to burn them. Tja. Why did Mr. Hurtley put them inside the garden shed? I... I don't know. I wanted them back, but I couldn't see him, not after what happened. Well, here they are. Oh, this is terrible. Terrible. Liam, how could he? I... after what he has done. You believe that he killed your husband? No, I do not know. I do not know. Leave me alone, please. Thank you, madam. I wonder if Wiggins has managed to find any sailors. Ja, lass uns doch mal gucken, ob Wiggins hier was gefunden hat. Baker Street. Mr. Holmes, we found the sailors from that list you gave us. Well done, Wiggins. Let me see. Okay. Hm. 
Matrose Harponier. Bitte. Hugh Pettins Matrose. James Lancaster. Patrick. Also Harponier. Wir suchen ein Harponier, ne? PC. Vor einer Woche verstorben. Also ist er der Harponier, ne? This man is a Harpooner. And his initials are PC. The same initials that were found on the tobacco pouch. Wiggins, could you gather some information on one of the sailors that you found? His name is Patrick Cairns. We found Patrick Cairns. Good job, Wiggins. Where is he? He lives in a small furnished dump of a room, but he's always at the Sea Witch pub, where he does arm wrestles for money and drinks. Excellent. Here is your reward. Two guineas. Thank you, sir. Tja, der Wiggins ist ja wohl Gold wert, ne? Lass uns mal eben gucken, ob wir hier noch ein bisschen was schlussfolgern können. Ach, also, die Briefe von ihm hier, flup, und die Briefe von ihr hier, die passen ja irgendwie gut zusammen, hätte ich jetzt gedacht. Hm. Shit. <lacht> also nochmal weg damit. Fehlende Wettbewerb, Patrick. Achso, hier. Julius Geständnis. Und. So, die Briefe haben wir natürlich, ne? Das kann man mal feststellen. Liam Hurtley hat Julius so sehr geliebt, dass sie einfach so den getrieben haben. Das könnte natürlich sein, ja. Okay. Hörtlichs Motivverhältnis mit Judith, ja klar, könnte sein. Möglich gemeinsamer Mord, naja. Es gibt zwei Täter. <lacht> Ich weiß das noch nicht. Das sollten wir uns dann vielleicht erstmal nochmal überlegen. Und beim nächsten, bei der nächsten Session müssen wir auf jeden Fall den Typen noch uns da angucken, den guten Harponier. Also, bis zum nächsten Mal. Ciao.